Okay, I think we're live. Hi everyone. A couple of people sitting there waiting for me. Thank you very much. My name is Vim PF, as you know. Uh, this is No Nonsense Whiskey's first live stream. If you can hear me okay, yeah, if someone could just um, tap that in the chat, that'd be great. Um, there'll be a little bit of latency. Uh, and also, I think I should probably apologise for some rough, rough kind of uh, imagery coming through. My Wi Fi is crapped out a little bit, and I'm using 4G on my phone. So, top, uh, top notch for city living. Just click about here. I've got my laptop down here, so I'm going to be looking up and down at the comments seeing what's going on and seeing who's around. I think we've got five watching. That's cool. I'm not going to pay too much attention to that. Just the live chat um, as sort of questions coming in. And we're going to be going through a couple of drams here today. Hopefully a couple of you have got these as well. We can talk about some stuff, talk about some tasting notes, see what you guys think. And if you've got any kind of questions, then fire them across and I'll do my best to answer them. Cool. So I'm getting, getting a couple of messages here saying you can hear me loud and clear and uh, sexy T-shirt says Maltman Mike. So hopefully there's not too much delay going on there. I can see there's just a, just a little bit of a delay, but that's OK. I've set that up. So hopefully the quality is a little bit higher because 4G is not the best. So there you go. First live stream. Really excited about this. So thanks for that. We've got Gentlemen Grimm on, we've got Martin Mike on, we've got Whiskey Wings on, we've got Aquavite, Hi Roy, glad to see you could make it. Let's get into it. So let's let's go straight in for my favourite of pretty much all time so far. My favourite affo affordable dram, I should say, and that's this beauty here. The Highland Park 12 year. I covered this on the channel when I first started, and if you go back and watch that video, it's 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 pretty good it's pretty good it's it's poor it's a poor effort a video but i was starting barely looking at the camera really confused about sitting in front of a camera but it's worth a watch for a laugh at least but still i might i might re-record it at some point um i'll leave it on there let's see who else is on so gary robinson hello mate and uh, we've got this is my dram this is my dram do an excellent podcast. Um, I featured on there just a little bit once. They actually didn't show a little bit of that, but that's a secret. Um, also, while we're going through lists of people who are doing stuff, Gentleman Grimm, who was first on, he is an excellent blogger from the Midlands like myself. Uh, you should definitely check out his website. You can just Google Gentleman Grimm, double M, and you'll definitely hit that. Next one down is Maltman Mike and Friends Show. He is also a vlogger like me. Um, he's recently rebranded and done a kind of new kind of, I'd call it like a magazine show. It's very uh, like fast paced and different things going on. It's very good. You should watch it out. They're, they're on episode three coming up, I think. Definitely check that out. Uh, also going down the list, Aquavite. He is fairly new, but has done maybe five videos, but they're very, very, very high quality. They absolutely kick the crap out of my, my videos, but um, definitely check him out. He's done some, whiskey pronunciation videos that are completely invaluable to the kind of stuff that I do. And he's tested me out a little bit and find it really quite difficult to say some of those words. So really much needed video. Uh, coming down, coming down. We've got people coming in. It's brilliant. I love it. The Real Dram. That's another, another blog. Guy's good. Created a channel just to join in. Thank you very much, dude. Hopefully you can subscribe to the channel as well. I need all the numbers I can get. Uh, I think that's basically it for new people. Malt Man's on number four now. Sorry, mate. It's hard to keep track. I know it's every two weeks, but whatever. And Whiskey Wing says, where's the hay club? Do you, do you know what? I'm dying to cover that on the channel because I'm pretty sure it'll do well. There's lots of people probably out there searching for it, but I cannot bear to spend any real money on it. Um, I've seen a little miniature of the hay club. Um, little, a little, It looks like the bottle. That's what I want. I want to buy a little five sill just to try it, but I, I'm not spending £34 on a bottle of pish like that. Sorry. That's a really awful thing to say, but... And in Birmingham, if you, if you missed this whiskey news, this is amazing, brand new, off-the-press news for you. Hay Club have opened up a bar in Birmingham in the Cube. Someone correct me. The Cube, the mailbox, one of those two. 
right up in there it's a, a side section of another bar and it's just hay club that you can buy in there and they do hay club cocktails but get this you can buy a bottle of the hay club in there for 200 pounds and you can drink from it whenever you want um i mean if you're one of these guys you know flashy whatever and you can go hey come to the bar let's go to this bar and we can try some hay club and then you go barman no money changes hand you look like a bit of a flasher great but nah i might go there just to check out the view it's got a nice view of birmingham <laughs> let's see what else we got here curious about the eagle rare well stick around gary because it's coming up a bit later i'm going to do them in order from this side to this side abv wise so maybe i should crack on then otherwise we'll be here all night so highland park 12 year i'm sure all of you know about this stuff i've done like i said i did a video on it i love it it's one of my favorites hope you guys like it anyone else out there drinking it along with me do let me know i'll try and slow down a little bit to catch some of these things coming through uh whiskey and whiskers has just joined in i did say make sure you say hello if the username's different but it isn't so this t-shirt by the way i'll do a little plug is from swally shirts swally as in the uh scottish for ah oh, just go for a wee swally so i bought a shirt it was on i waited until it was on deal but absolutely brilliant mark the guy who runs it is a bit of a legend definitely check him out i should put links in below but um you can just google it and you'll find it swally shirts he does amazing stuff let's see so we got aquavita doesn't have any harm oh yeah don't worry mate you'll be able to drink any japanese any bourbon these are kind of good examples of them but it does have four different hp 12s wow well, I hope they're all as good as the standard, if not better. I saw you have the um, Scotch Single Malt Whiskey Society bottle in. Uh, I was intrigued to know if that was any different. Mm. This feels great. I'm just going to be kind of drinking and talking for a bit, but that's cool. That's what you guys watch me for after all, isn't it? Now, the thing that always gets me about this is that when I started drinking whiskey, I hated peated whiskies. Uh, for some unknown reason i don't know why i love them now i've really got into them but the kind of light smoke on this the hobbiston moor peat that they've added to it i didn't even notice it was there to start with i wasn't i was tasting it but wasn't really sure what i was tasting so for me it, it doesn't it doesn't affect it at all and it was kind of my entry point into smoke just a touch lovely Let's see what else we've got. Whiskey Wing says, just poured a dram, old style bottle. What is this? Is that this style bottle or is it even older? Oh, half bottle. Free from the whiskey? Free? You get stuff free? Well, I'm going to that this year, so hopefully there's more free stuff on the Monday. I'm going to the uh, the Monday show in, which is the trade show. Managed to somehow blag a ticket for having a YouTube channel, so that's cool. Hopefully I'll do a little thing. Maltman Mike says, is that Aliens and Predators in the background? Mate, this thing, I, I saw it at Comic-Con in Birmingham and I had to buy it. It is, it's Predator and Alien playing chess in a study with leather-bound books. And this guy's drinking like, I'm, I pretend it's whiskey, but I'm pretty sure it's like a cognac or a, or a brandy or something like that. But it's so good. It was like three pounds. I'm going to, this space here, for those of you who watch the show, is a bit bland at the moment. What I plan to do, is I've got a scratch map, and I'm, I plan to take lots of uh, whiskies I'm trying from around the world and scratch off the countries as I try a whiskey from them. Um, it's not that, that great, I mean, it's up, up there and I can't take it down either. So I've got like Japan and New Zealand and obviously the UK and a bit of America. I'm doing state by state in America because I know there's loads of it. Uh, hopefully I'm going to kind of fill it at one point <laughs> if there's any kind of um, like Greenland whiskey let me know but so I am getting there but I do plan to put that up there ah Jason from Jason Whiskey Wise has joined welcome Jason good to see you on the show he's also another YouTuber um, very good he's trying to do 250 videos this year he's on sort of i think 56 something now he's just done highland park series actually i'm so jealous that he had that hp 30 really nice um, i think i missed one as well didn't i 
Uh, I missed a couple whiskey and whiskers. I did say about the, the, them, but they they've got a Twitter feed. Absolutely good, brilliant. Whiskey and cats, perfect combination. I've got two myself. Uh, I think I missed another one as well. It's coming down. Duh, 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 duh. Where? Where is it? Whiskey wings. I've said you a couple of times now, but I think you've got a blog, haven't you? You definitely got a Twitter feed with a blog. I can't remember. I think it's whiskey wings at blogspot.com or something like that, maybe. But um, search them on Twitter. You'll find them. <laughs> Jason says he's failing. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're failing, maybe. It was a, a tall order. You know, poor old uh, a drama day managed it to do uh, one video every day for a whole year uh, and i think it kind of it really put his life on hold almost a little bit he had to really plan himself around it it's really difficult to do more stuff coming through out oh, some really cool people on now so michael gallagher just bought a bottle of eagle rare off amazon earlier this evening 23 quid well i'll get onto that a little bit later but this one cost me 20 quid off amazon a couple of um, weeks months ago I had to buy it. It's so good. I can't wait for you to get it because it's the, it's a ten year, and it's it's just sublime for the for that price. It's stealing, stealing. Oh, more stuff coming through. Jez Batty says the twelve the HP twelve old bottle was better than the HP twelve new bottling. I don't know if you know if if you if you've seen it or not. They've re released their bottlings. So the kind of Viking lore. Bottlings. I quite like the new the new thing. I know Mike loves it, but um, I'm not sure if it's a different liquid. I, I hope it's the same. It seems really silly to change it, but if if it is, mm, I'm I'm gonna get it. I've finally seen it in the shops. So I'll get it once I finish this bottle, and I'll do a review of it. So keep keep watching the channel. Mm. Yeah, Amazon have had um, some good some good deals today it's been amazon prime day today if, you, if you've not known so if you have got amazon prime it's worth checking it out lots of good stuff going on i didn't buy anything today i just bought a, a blu-ray unfortunately i've got far too much whiskey and my wife will kill me if i get any more so all right i think it's about time oh no let's a little bit longer on the hp12 let people join in because i know it's i know it's um Divides the field a little bit. The, someone gave me this bottle because they didn't like it. Dale, I hope he, he, he might watch in a bit. But um, I just, I just love it. It's so, it's just an easygoing, drinkable whiskey. Shame it's forty percent, but that's okay if it makes it affordable. But he really doesn't like any smoke whatsoever, and I'm trying to kind of break him into it. But he, he drinks a lot of whiskey, same as me, and it's you know what you like, don't you? I like it. There's a bit of chat going on in the thing. If you're watching this later, a bit of chat going on about editing. I do like it. We've got a little group on um, on uh, Facebook of uh, YouTubers, and we talk about stuff like editing and things like that. Um, and poor old Mike has just started doing um, loads more. Like me, I sit in front of my camera, I chat for a bit, edit out a couple of mistakes, and put them in outtakes videos. But he's got so much to do: two cameras, whatever. It's 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 big, big time, big time. Mm. Whiskey Whiskers says that the Abala, I'm gonna I'm gonna screw it up. Abuna, Roy, Abuna, Abuna, Abuna uh, was thirty seven pounds on Amazon today. I really almost bought it. I, I almost bought it. I have a sample, which is why I didn't buy it because I'm gonna still do a video on it. But it's one of the best sherried cask strength whiskies I've ever tried. And considering it's so available, it's it, again, it's like a steal. Right, I am gonna. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Uh, I'm not sure if many of you are gonna have this. I chose this one because I thought a lot of you have this, and I thought the people that are into bourbons would have this. This one here, I, I, I picked it because I've done a video on it, and it's. I think it gets a bit of a bad rep because it's an NAS, you know, a non-age statement. Um. So yeah, here we go. Move on to this Japanese Harmony. It was kind of released to replace the Hibiki Twelve Year kind of replace it i don't i hate to use the word replace it's not really fair because the habiki 12 year was amazing this was just kind of made to so they could sell something while some some other stuff was going on but i just love the bottle it's it's sided um it's 24 sides and this is a cool bit of information because it's apparently meant to represent the 24 
distinct seasons in Japan. I'm not sure quite how that works because that would be a new season every two weeks or so. But there you go. Jason says he's got this. Carry on. I'd love to know what you think. I, I've not, have you done a video of that, Jason? Let me know. Put the comments down and see what we do. Oh, a couple of people jamming along with it. Brilliant. This is my dram. Got it. Yeah, the Real Jam says um, the Hibiki 12 was so good and this is not as good. And that's definitely true. It isn't as good as the 12 year. There's no way you can deny it, but I'll take this. If I, if I can't get the 12 year and it was either this or nothing, then take this. Mm. Jason says, Slancher Vin, so Slancher Jason. Hope you're having it. Owen Davis joins in. He's a regular commenter of mine. Have this one is really nice. I, I think you're talking about the harmony now, hopefully. Mm. Sorry, I, it's, it's the trouble with live stream, you get kind of caught up in reading the comments. <laughs> um, Aquavita says, uh, willing to bet you're happy to have that harmony, but you ain't going to replace it. It's one of these things like I would replace it, but because I'm always on the lookout for new new stuff for the for the channel once i've covered something i kind of feel like it's a bit of a waste of money to buy it again um when i could just buy something new that's cool yeah a couple of people drooling over the hibiki 21 year man i've never tried it i've never tried it honestly i, I wish i could the most years i've ever tried was a 30 year glen turret the um that boutique whiskey company i think did it absolutely sublime 16 watching brilliant hi everybody <laughs> i can't believe it's 16 people <laughs> it's brilliant mm. craig sellers has joined in he says pleasantly surprised with the harmony i think um craig you're a british bourbon society guy aren't you pretty sure pretty sure I'm struggling with names terrible with names Uh, here we go. So Mike says, one I've never tried yet. Sold plenty, mind. Seem to prefer the Nika to Suntry, personally. I know what you mean. Nika, the... I've said this a, a hundred times, but the Nika from the barrel is, in my opinion, the best readily available Japanese whiskey you can buy. Um, it's a small bottle and people get put off by it, but for 30 quid, 35 quid for a small bottle, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, there you go, Craig. No, Mr. Pie. Sorry, mate. I thought I, I recognised you from somewhere, but I couldn't remember where I'd seen probably my YouTube comments. Mm. What else we got coming through? Whiskey Wing says, managed to be in the right place at the right time. Got to try a 50 year poor Ellen just out of the cask. Ugh, I bet that was amazing. I still haven't technically tried a whiskey that's older than me because the older I get, I do try these old whiskies. Like I tried a 30 year old when I was 31 um, and I tried like a 25 year old when I was 28. And it's just as my kind of entry into whiskey is getting more refined and I'm getting exposure to more things that I'm able to try more stuff. I really hope that I don't have to wait until I'm 50 to try a 50 year old. A couple of people agreeing about the Nika from the barrel. Uh, I just, I, I, I've seen people review it badly. I have. Um, I can't remember who it was now. There was somebody, I think it might have been um, Canadian, uh, the, uh, the Spirit Safe. Um, he's an Englishman in Canada. I think he reviewed it badly. Um, I can't remember why, why he said he didn't like it, but he's the only person I've ever seen to say negative, let alone, not, not even just not positive, but just negative. Mad, absolutely mad. Uh, Jez, I think the Eagle Rare 10 is still on offer, but it might have been a lightning one. Not sure. Uh, Real Jump says, are you on the tweet tastings list, Vin? I am on the list, but I don't go into it very often because I spend a whole lot of time doing whiskey related things already. Like if I'm not filming, I'm editing or I'm watching videos, promoting the channel, whatever. So it's, and Honestly, this is going to sound a bit harsh, but honestly, it feel, the, all of this stuff feels like a hobby to me. But when I do the tweet tastings, it feels like work. It's, it's, like very, it's very structured um, and it's very, 
you kind of you can't you can only know to a certain point in time then you have to taste you can't taste ahead of time and it for me it's 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 all good to try new stuff but i'm as i don't know if you can see my sample set i've got enough to be getting on with so i i haven't gone in for a few for a while but i do like it every now and again just to get the get the name out there because i use my twitter channel um at and then whiskey if you're not on twitter go check me out I, I post a lot of stuff on there mostly just kind of personal witterings it's not a professional account it's just me going nuts on it mm. oh okay so eagle rare on amazon is now 41 pounds 20. damn okay so missed out on that but never mind i got a bottle of the other week so if you missed out on it that's a real big shame uh, would i pay 40 quid for it Hmm, probably it's good it really is good we'll come to it but it's it's a shame like like whiskey wings is saying here it it really does come down on offer a lot it's I'll, I'll plug it again the uh on facebook there's a group called the british bourbon society and uh you don't have to pay to join or anything like that you just click on the group ask to join uh they do chat about other whiskies but it is mostly bourbons and there's a couple of people on there um a, yeah, a couple of people who are just scouring Amazon every single day. Uh, and if you've got a big budget, then you can buy it, buy it all. But I've had to really restrain myself recently because I just buy this and I bought this tin cup. The other day, I haven't even opened that yet. Um, I bought, uh, did, I don't know what I bought, Jim Beam Double Wood or something like that. Just, just buying loads of stuff. And you've got to be really careful about buying things. Uh, Malt and Mike saying it's thirty five ninety nine at the uh, House of Malt. Had I had to at least one tonight. Oh, sorry, I had yeah at least once tonight. <laughs> Carry on, mate. Why not? We're all friends here, and I, I'm more than happy to have other people plug on here. Uh, Mike, aside from his um, YouTube career, works for a Carlisle based uh, whiskey specialist called the House of Malt, who do stuff. Uh, online as well. I'm not sure what their postage costs are. Mike, smash it down in the comments for us. But they've got some real good prices, you know. And if you're if you're in the area, um, then you know, pay them a visit. It's uh, I'm going up in um, I can't remember what day it is in August. It's, it's it's just before my birthday in August 12th, I think it is the the day before. So I've I've looked down. People are talking about the BBS now, British Bourbon Society. It can be a proper money drain, but you know you've got to be you've got to be sensible about it and buy bottles when you need them. <laughs> and and also Greg says you need a credit card. Her indoors doesn't know about. <laughs> well, uh, the running joke in in uh, in my little community is that every bottle I've ever bought has been less than fifty quid when it hasn't. So you know whatever. Luckily, my my wife doesn't really pay much attention to whiskey. Um, she doesn't she doesn't watch the videos. She won't be watching now. She isn't even in the house. Um, so it's it's good for me. I get to drink my own whiskey. The bottles come and go. She recognises some sometimes, but luckily stuff like this, you know, the, the difference I've got tucked away down here, if you bear with me. Ugh, the 21. Well, it looks kind of very, very similar to it. <laughs> Not, and the price difference is quite astounding. I'm going to tuck that back away down there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, a couple of people are saying here. Whiskey Wings is uh, talking to Uncle Vito Roy about some tasty notes. Nice. Oh, General Grimm's going to have to duck out. That's fine. He's, he's little and. Um, I'm sure. Did, they, did you say that little was ill again? I can't remember. But anyway, good luck, mate. Watch it again tomorrow. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not repeating that, Mike. I should. <laughs> my my friend Sean is watching, and he's going to tell my wife how much I spent. Um, well, I'll have you know, Mr. Eldridge, that I did not pay full price for that. I got a big old deal on it, but I still spent a lot more than fifty quid. <laughs> That's for sure. <sighs> Besides. I've got you on Google Maps now, so I know where you are at all times. <laughs> uh, people are talking about poo. Carry on. Carry on. It's all good here. 
one to hide in the attic in case she goggles that 21. No, it's okay. I paid 50 quid for it. I did. I did. It was 50 quid. Uh, Akvita saying, I have the 19 year Port Ellen Mini, but 50 year old from the cask is unicorn stuff. Tell me about it. Sorry, Sean. Dr. Elvidge to you. Yes. PhD in mathematics. Indeed. Hope you're drinking. Are you drinking anything tonight, Sean? Hope you are. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I love it. Hmm. Yeah, Jason's saying that Sean is savage. Yes. Yes, he is. But that's what friends are for, right? I only gave him a lift to work for two years straight. Okay, yeah, you are right, Whiskey Meal. I should be talking about the Habiki. Just sitting here drinking, chatting away. <laughs> okay, so this one here. It, it, it really is good. It is good. The trouble with it is it's 50 quid already. You know, the bottle was 50 quid straight up and it's getting, it's getting more expensive. If you catch it in the, um, in the airport, which is where I've seen this the most, catching the airport for 50 quid, I don't see much wrong with it. You're not going to get much else for 50 quid in the, uh, in the airport that's worth that. I find the airport travel retail, Jason will be able to talk about this. Whiskey wise, Jason, he's big into his travel retail, but for me, the bargains are disappearing and they're being replaced with these travel retail only ones that I, I just don't know if they're going to be good or not. And they're always, always, always 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 pounds. They're never, they're ne there's never a travel retail one that's like 35 quid that I can just get and try apart from like maybe the Highland Park Sven or something like that. But um, I'm always, whenever I'm in the airport, I'm always looking for something less than 50 quid that I can just take home. Everyone's happy and I can drink it and I can't, um, I just can't abide by all these really expensive stuff coming out for no reason just to catch people out walking through. Uh, so Jason says, is that the cheetah behind it? It's, it's the box. I've got the, um, the bottle downstairs that I know your point is, um, really cheap. I got that. My mate Dale picked me up that in an airport for 30, 32 quid. And it's really good, actually. That is comparatively worth it. Yeah, so this, it's, it, 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 if you compare it to the, the Habiki 12, 12 year, you're going to be disappointed every day of the week. It's, uh, there's no way about it. Um, it's their premium blended whiskey uh, from the three kind of distilleries, including the Cheetah. But um, it's, it's, it's okay, you know. If you've got the money to spend, try it. It's, I think it really is worth trying and the, you know, it's a lovely bottle. Even if you don't like, it doesn't blow your mind. You'll, in, you'll enjoy it enough to drink it and you can keep that bottle forever and, and use it. I, I plan to use that when I finish, uh, to either, I'm either going to blend my own whiskies or I'm going to do this thing called, um, the bottle dregs collection, which is a, a thing I saw online the other day where you think you finished a bottle. So you kill it off. And then if you leave it sitting for, for a day, a tiny wee bit collects again. Well, I'm going to pour all of them into, into a bottle and see how long it takes me to get up. Mm. My Christine's on. Oh, I'll get onto that in a minute, but I've got a cat here. Hang on. Hello. That's Joey, my cat. He's coming in to say he wants some food, but I've given him loads today. He's just cohing at me. Go on, off you pop. Um, MK says, uh, when am I tasting? It's a Norwegian whiskey, and I asked her to pronounce it for me because it looks like phonetically it should be ordinary, and I can't remember how you said it. So I I think it's Udne. Ah, I'll, I'll get it off you, but I am going to do it soon. Um, I'm pretty, I'm going to be doing world whiskies and that's going to be one of the ones I'm going to click off. Uh, I've just got people here saying open heart on part 21. I just like to say it's open. Poppy poppy. What are you saying? Pour a dram. Is that what you're saying? Ha, 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 ha. 
we were saying open it. Uh, Jason's just confirming some stuff I said about travel retail a little while ago. It's open. It's open. Leave me be. I'm not one to. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not one to keep a bottle closed for long. Morton Mike says, "Bring that 21 year old up with you in August, mate." Well, that depends on what you want me to do with it. If you want me to share it with everybody, then probably not. <laughs> Tom's back. Hello, mate. Right, okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I hope you can hear my cat meowing because he's just going for it. What do you want? Go on. Oh, I know what you want. Okay. I'm going to neck this. This is what I'm going to say. The Highland Park 12. I'm going to neck this and I'm going to put in the 21 for a bit. How about that? Bear with me while I just wash this out. Nice and low tech here. Hydrate, it's very important. <laughs> right, there you go. I opened this chatting to Aquavitae. And I haven't had any since. Oh, I've had it several times, but in the past, just a little touch. I was asking me much about the um, Highland Park Rebus 30 10 year. Um, all I know about that is the facts that they've sent out on emails, which is that it's to celebrate the Ian Rankin character, um, 30 years of that. And it's just, just the Highland Park 10 year. Um, I got offered a bottle before pre-release for something like 30 quid and I not not bothered about buying it to be honest I, ne I nearly bought it I nearly bought it just to review it on the channel but I've got enough to be getting on with as I said a bit earlier so I didn't get it um, I'm fairly certain that I know enough people now that might have bought it that might slow me a sample of it so I'm not overly bothered about buying special releases now Highland Park I've got a bit of a bugbear with because they're one of my favourite distilleries but my god do they release some expensive stuff um, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a thing whether it's whether it's worth getting or not it was, it's not collectible put it that way so what can you do uh, I'm sure I missed some stuff going on I think you're all just having a go at me about the Highland Park 21 aren't you but that's cool <laughs> I don't mind <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, um, Akrita is saying that he gubbed the last of his. It's, it was a bit of a bit of a weird, bit of a rebirth, wasn't it? So you, you you finished yours, I opened mine. But what can be done? Um, I'm sure someone else popped on. I meant to say hello to. Sorry if I missed you on the chat. It's going quite fast now. I've just scrolled up to see a couple of. Yeah, someone says uh, it seems you have one of those long cats. Yeah, they do get long when you pick them up. Uh, skimming head, yeah, Roy. I am filming on a, a mobile device. I I do all my videos on my phone. I've got a, a OnePlus 3T, and um, it's got a better it's got better resolution than this. This is my bridge camera that I used to use, and I don't use this because there's no audio output on it. I can't plug a microphone in, whereas I can plug my this straight into my phone. I don't need to do any editing um, with the audio track. Whereas with this, I would have to record the audio separately mess around with all the settings um, and the phone just carries on doing it. Um, the biggest problem I have here is, especially for live streams, my Wi-Fi, honestly, at last count, I got like 1.5 megabytes a second. Uh, I'm not even out in the sticks. I'm in the um, third postcode of a, of a city and we just don't have fiber. So, um, are we saying it's pulsing? Okay, uh, I'm just going to reach behind the camera and see because I'm on Google Hangout, so I'm not sure if it will work. We'll see. Mm. No, I don't think it will. <sighs> yeah, Google Hangouts on the on the phone is a bit a bit of a poor thing. Um, so sorry if that's that's irritating anybody, but unfortunately, I've I've not got the gear to uh, to kind of get on with it. Um, I, I'm hoping to do a big 
live tasting soon. Um, it's a bit of a secret at the moment, but I'm, I'll push on to it. I don't want to say too much about it. Um, but for that, I'm going to be connecting with more people. So I am going to go somewhere with better internet before it goes on. Uh, so yeah, people saying the 4G is, is fine. That's good because I paid for unlimited data for it. So hopefully it's going to be good. Mm. Jason saying it sounds like a bit of a mission with all the camera gear. Yeah, it really is. Um, editing is a bit of an interesting one. I, I did think about doing a video on it, but I'm pretty sure that nobody's interested in that. There's lots of videos about it. Um, uh, because I found one of the, the hardest things about getting going. If you watch some of my early videos, audio was a massive issue and um, getting lighting right is an issue as well. Some of my videos come out really orange. Um, I think I might have solved that now, actually. Uh, but um, I, obviously I'm on a budget, you know, I earn very, very little off YouTube. So I have to try and do things as, as low budget as possible. Uh, so it's it's just one of those things. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. Uh, I'll be able to plug more money into it. I'm planning on buying some lighting kits and things like that. But for now, I think the phone does all right. Um, and I think it, uh, in this day and age, you know, phones are, are proper on point. So it's a really good way of starting out. Mm. Sorry, I'm just enjoying my Highland Park 21 there. Damn, that is a good dram. That is a good dram. I haven't looked at this for it, so let's have a look. We were after one of those padcasters. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. That was Maltman Mike. Oh, I skipped a bit, that's why. Uh, da, da, da. People talking about iPhones. Nah. I, actually, I'm a bit of a weird, weird guy. I've got an iPad and I've got a Mac, but I bought an Android phone because... I was pretty sick of how my iPhone just kept running out of space and I got a, a Chinese OnePlus, 440 quid it was, 132 gigabytes of data and it's just, it's just perfect, I love it. Yeah, more people using phones, I think, I think it's the way forward. Bugs, I got it, nice. Mr Miyagi. Anybody else got a um, Holland Park 21 knocking around? I know, I know Tom has. I can, you, you can hear me in your headphones. I hope you're drinking some of it. Oh. If you've tried... Actually, as it goes, um, Jason, did you do the 21? I, I, think the, I don't think the 21 was in your set, was it? Bit of a shame, really, because it's, uh, it's not one to be skipped. I'd have, if, it, if the set could have chosen, I'd have got rid of that 15 and put the 21 in. But it's uh, it's just sublime, you know. It's so smooth at that age. I dread to think what the angel share is. Must be loads by then. And I think it's bottled at a slightly higher. Oh, I say, I think I've got the bottle right here. Yeah? I can check it. Where is it? Yeah, forty-seven point five percent. What a dram! And I got it for a third off. Let's see what we got. Yeah, okay, so Jason has got it, good. You've got the fire and ice as well. I I kind of, I didn't bother with the fire and ice. They just seem very expensive to me for a 14 year and a 15 year respectively. And it's all just fancy. This is what I mean about Holland Park. It's all very, very premium. And they sell a lot over Shores because they've got a good name over there. Owen's got the Holland Park cigar unopened. Get it open, man. Get it open, drink up. Yeah, I did get an awesome deal. It's not as good as the deal you got for that um, that set for 30 quid though, Jason. Jesus, that's just unbelievable. I've, if, if I saw that anywhere, anywhere, any time of, of the month, no matter how much money I had, I'd find the money to get that set for 30 quid because that's usually about £100. Mm. Right. I'm going to have to be really unprofessional because I've just realised that I've locked the cat in. That's why he's screaming at me. Can you guys bear with me for two minutes? I'm just going to make a lot of noise. I'm plugging this. <laughs> and I'll be back. All right. <laughs>
Sorry about any feedback you're getting. Okay, okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, I, I locked the cat flap earlier because I had to give him a, a worm treatment. I forgot to open it. I think he needed to go to the toilet. So there you go. Right, let's see what happened in the chat while I was gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so this is the, a, a good point by uh, Jez here. Is it five times better than the, the Highland Park 12 year going by price? So it's a really difficult thing to say. I, I usually say when a, when a whiskey is expensive, I would rather have X amount of bottles of the Highland Park 12 year. But for a one-off purchase, once in a lifetime, I would definitely buy the Highland Park 21. You know, like I said, I got it on a deal for a hundred pounds, which is a lot of money, which is four times as much as this. It's usually 150, 130 pounds, which is a lot. It's a lot. And I wouldn't have paid that for it. If I hadn't seen it for a hundred pounds, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, I did buy the 18 year as well, which was 85 pounds at the time, which at the time was a real stretch for me. And I was really upset about buying it, but it was so good it's you've got to i think you've got to um i think you've got to buy it once you know it, don't don't sort of get yourself in trouble by spending that sort of money on whiskey but yeah i think stuff like that you've got to you've got to splash out once or twice to buy something really good there's a couple of things i bought are, are really amazing like i'll keep this one here because this is the glamorangi alanta and there's a bit of a story behind that um i'll go into it in a second after just reading a couple of comments i'll see people are talking <laughs> my my mate Matt uh, Matt and Metal Disease just logged on <laughs> talking about cats. Yeah, well, sorry, pal. I mean, you are forty five minutes late, so um, you know, coin flip and all that. But you know, I'd rather that than have to clear up cat shit off my floor. So there you go, first S bomb. Hmm. Jason says uh, twenty one people watching. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Uh, Gentleman Grim, he says the 21 isn't five times better than the, the 12. I'd say go for the 18 over the 21. I mean, generally speaking, yes, I would say that as well. The 18 is fabulous. Um, it's creeping up in price, as they all are, apart from my old buddy here. But if you can get a good price on it, it's good. Um, try to pay less than £100 if you can. But... I don't know, you, you've got to have a, as we've talked about before, you've got to have a unicorn whiskey every now and again, something you really want to straight into. So I told you, I'll talk about uh, was quite a few years ago now, um, just as this was released. So I think, what, I don't know, five years ago, something like that. And um, I tried it, didn't know anything about it, obviously knew the name Glenmorangie. And I was like, I've, this thing's incredible. It was so, it's just so good. So I went up to the shop and said, I've got to try this. Oh, I think we're getting a bit of terrible. Has the quality gone bad? I hope not. Sorry if it has. Um, 66 pounds it was at the time. 66 English pounds. And then that uh, good whiskey friend of mine, Jim Murray, voted it the best whiskey in the world. And it went gone. Off went into the atmosphere. And I ended up paying £185 for this bottle. And at the time I bought it because I thought I might, what we call in the whiskey world, which is buy it to sell it on later when it's worth more. And it went up a little bit and it's about 250 quid now. I think interest has kind of finally failed on this. Um, and in the end, I just couldn't bear it anymore. I got to the point where 250 quid didn't seem like that much money anymore. Um, and I and I opened it in um, New Year this year uh, with a very good friend of mine. Um, I popped it open and I shared a jam with him. And it's um, sitting downstairs at the back for special occasions. And um, the very best of whiskey folk have come round. That's that's what I've got it for. Um, and that's when I really decided that I was not going to get into whiskey investment um, because I'm into whiskey because I love whiskey i love the experiences you get i love the people and it's for the drinking and 
anyone who says it isn't is not a true whiskey fan. Whoa, there you go. That's straight in there. That's, let's get that one back a bit. Go back to this awesome dram. I'm going to drink it because I want to move on to this Eagle Rare. I'm sure people are waiting for that. Mm. Okay, Simmons, the Nika drop in. That's uh, something he sent me recently. Um, I think that's all I can say. I don't know. I haven't really got my schedule worked out. I just kind of pick one each week. So uh, I don't know, maybe soon. I haven't even opened it yet, so I will look at that. Uh, yeah, quality did go down. I'm not sure if the sound's just this. Hang on. Sorry, I'm going to tap it a bit. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. This is the problem. When I do more of these live streams, hopefully I'm going to get a bit better internet soon. We've just got no fiber uptick here, so I can't use my Wi Fi. So I've got, we've had really bad weather. I don't know if you're all in the UK or further abroad, but we've, we've had this kind of heat wave and now it's, it's just absolutely wrecked it down today. And my signal, I'm in the middle of a city and the signal just dips when, when it rains. So I'm going to leave this HP 12, uh, 21 over here for a bit and I'm going to move on to the Eagle Rare Kentucky Straight Bourbon because I love this thing. It's so good. Um, and actually, a convenient time to pop on is Shinjuku Sensei, which is a very, very good friend of mine called Dale. And he's massively into his bourbon. So I got him into whiskey a few years ago. And um, it, it took a while, didn't it, mate? Because you, you're you not a huge fan of kind of staple whiskey smells. I, I classify them as kind of the spare size, you know, the kind of basic. Um, they're really not that complex, you know, kind of happy, floral, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, and I think he uh, really found his affinity when he hit bourbons. And it's it's him that's got me into bourbons because I really didn't know anything about them. I just thought they were the um, the kind of, you know, Jack Daniels stuff, even though it's not a bourbon, I know. Uh, so here we go. We're going to just... Uh, some, some stuff going on here. Yeah, maybe I'll get a bit wrong. So... Uh, I missed something there. I'm sure I missed something. Hang on, bear with me. Missed the bottle. Right, the bottle is the Eagle Rare, the Whiskey Rev. Dude, actually the Whiskey Rev. Nice. Oh. Um, the Eagle Rare, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, 10 year. It says, it, it's a bit weird because it used to say 10 year on the front and now it says it on the back. I don't know, you're not even going to see it all the pixels, are you? But never mind. Uh, a couple of people waiting to hear what I said on this. Let's crack on with it then. While I'm smelling this, let's have a look at what people are saying. Uh, Aquavit is going to stay here to the bitter end. Um, I'm probably going to be slowing in a bit. I, I sometimes I don't often record three on the truck, but sometimes I do. and the, You can usually tell probably the more episodes that I make. Um, making little jokes, little mistakes, and keep and leaving them in. Um, if I'm not, if I'm not at least one drama, I tend to be a little bit serious, a little bit stiff. Something I'm working on. Uh, get, uh, Whiskey Wing says getting geared up for the, I mean, his bourbon shootout, and this is one of them. I cannot wait for that, and they're doing it all blind. I'm pretty sure they're doing that because I told them to. Because you can't do you can't do a shootout. You can't do a um, like a like a tournament table if you don't do it blind it doesn't make any sense because you're you're going in there with three connotations about about what you like and what you don't like do it blind it's the only way you can do it i can't wait for this to see that uh yeah some more stuff going on um sorry about the pause. that's really quite difficult what needed somebody to be pointing stuff out to me that'd be great i need I need to be like the Scotch Test Dummies and have one guy just chatting nonsense and the other guy <laughs> reading, the, reading the tech out. <laughs> uh, I love those shows. If you don't know the Scotch Test Dummies, go and check them out. They're absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. I haven't done a video on this one yet. Oh, I'm buffering. I'm buffering. Hopefully you guys catch up with me. I'm not going to do any whiskey notes until I see it stops buffering. Got 
Go on, some people are talking about that's good. Carry on. Kicks. Taiki, my neighbour, um, he does a YouTube channel about um, speakers, about trainers. If it's that sort of thing, uh, came out. It's a bit of a bit of a niche, just like mine. So it, we've got our own fans, really. They don't tend to cross over much, I don't think. But you know, he's got a good channel. He does good vlogs. Oh, okay, people aren't seeing buffering. All right, okay, I'll carry on. All right, chill. So. I think £20 is a good dram. There are better bourbons in a normal price bracket that's by the real dram. True, true story. So this is what I was saying earlier. I got this for 20 quid. And for that, I, I know I got 20 quid and that is what makes me think it's good. Because usually it's £40 and that's really quite expensive for this, I think. For a 10-year-old, it really is quite expensive. So. It's, oh, it just smells so good. I'm going to taste it. Mm. So, Mike is saying, should I crack out a bottle of the ER for the multi meet? I think you should. I think um, too much attention is placed on It'd be good to get a few people that aren't into bourbons into it. And it's good. This is a good, good start. Definitely a good start. Uh, what else is going on? Ah. <sighs> Brave doing live stream in this broadband dead zone. Yeah, okay, because Ty is my neighbour. He knows what kind of broadband we get. It's, it's truly diabolical. Good example, um, I make uh, a video once or twice a week, roughly 10 minutes, just less than 10 minutes, usually about a gig and a half. At um, work, when I take it on a USB stick, it takes me 20 minutes to upload a, a film. When I do it at home, it takes me seven hours to do a single video and it wipes out my internet. I can't use it on any other device while it's coming in. That gives you an idea about what it's like. So let's, let's move on from that. What else have we got down here? Uh, yeah, so General McGroom saying, um, I think you should crack open a bottle of, every, of every, everything. <laughs> yeah, do it. Um, Dale. Shinjuku is drinking the Woodford. Nice. Nice. Okay, I, I, need, I need to do the Woodford. Um, I haven't done Woodford yet. You can get it in Sainsbury's pretty deep. Uh, some people asking what malted, malted meetup is. Uh, real drunk. Um, Mike's doing a kind of... I don't know, is it vloggers and bloggers only? Or is it just anybody? Whatever. But... Um, He's doing, he's doing a thing in Carlisle in, in August. Um, it's free. All I have to do is get up there and, and pay for a hotel. And why not? It's going to be good. I can't remember who's going now. Wolfburn, Lake Distillery, two others. Whatever. I'm not going for anything specific just to go and see people, basically. There you go. He's put it in there. <laughs> Multi musings, Brian. I wish you'd get some proper glasses. Uh, I am trying to. This, these are my preferred drinking glasses um, for drinking at home. I do in the videos because of that. But I broke my last Glencairn glass very recently. I don't have it at the moment, so I am going to buy some more because um, I've come to a, a, a realization that although I really don't I don't care for Glencairn glasses at all, I don't. I'm never in or there. But what I do find is people who don't care about Glencun glasses don't mind if you have one or not, who do care about it really, really, really hate the fact that you don't use it. So I'm just going to get one because it makes it easier on my comment section, that's for sure. <laughs> mm. What else have we got going on? Woodford's less than £20. What? Woodford's less than £20 today on Amazon. Would it be really unprofessional if I just went on while I was on the live stream? No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, also, Whiskey Wings, uh, that's a good point. Good, um, doing blind tastings with um, Spirit and Wood, Gentleman Groom, 
AW Basement and Malt Musings on Thursdays. Um, and they've got a little bit of a rubbing going together, or whatever you want to call it, where they send each other blind samples. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a shame that I don't know what they're doing ahead of time so I can get involved, but um, it, it's a lot of fun to see them figuring it out and the realisations of it all. So uh, if you're on the comments here, um, check their kind of their ads on their spirit words. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to follow them. Uh, Mike's saying it's also Tom Tin and Cooper King. Oh, you got Cooper King coming. Brilliant. Um, I want to speak to them because they're brand new. Uh, programs in space idea. Also, um, Triple Cap. If you, if you guys are on YouTube a lot, this guy called Triple Cap, Walt, Walt Horn, he, um, he's also in the area. He's up in Isla on, uh, on the top of the show, really like to meet him. Uh, Whiskey Wings is talking about internet again. I, I don't talk too much about it, but yeah, we are we are getting fibre next year, hopefully. Um, and I will literally pay any amount of money to anybody who will give me something better than what I've got now. Uh, more more chat. What about fibre? Oh, so some people are getting buffering. Oh, sorry, Brian. Uh, hopefully it'll catch up with you because I think it, the people have been here the longest to get in the buffer. We'll see. Mm. Ty Kicks, good question. Ty Kicks says, what's your taste, uh, take on whiskey stones? Good idea or garbage? I see the point to not dilute, but I also see them as teeth breakers. Um, I have a set of them. My brother bought me a set because I was buying loads of um, kind of apparel for whiskey. Um, ice is a bad idea. Uh, it's, it's, ice is a good idea if you've got bad whiskey. There you go. It, um, it cools it down. It reduces the, the kind of alcohol vapors. It makes it a lot easier to drink. But obviously it melts, it dilutes as it goes along. And if you don't have crystal clear water or you don't distill it or whatever, you know, boil it in a kettle, it, um, it leaves a sediment behind, and that's rank. You don't want that. So the whiskey stone, uh, I'm sure you have, is soapstone cubes or metal cubes or something like that. I've got soapstone. You just put it in the freezer and plonk in. Same difference, though. It cools it down, and you don't get the same effect. So if you've got some terrible uh, kind of whiskey that you don't, then, then fair enough. Think good, but I don't, I don't like it. All right, I'm getting nudged. I'm getting nudged to talk about the whiskey I'm drinking. Sorry. So, <laughs> Eagle Rare Kentucky Bourbon. It's, I'm not sure about the mash bill. It's mostly corn, I should imagine. It's, um, I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's 51% corn, maybe a little bit more. The rest is rye, and then it's usually 5% malted barley. It could be different. It's, it's, they change everything. It's a real pain in the ass to, to keep up and really know stuff. So, yeah, so maybe a touch of rye. What you get from bourbons, I find, is always a, there's, there's a touch of menthol on some of them. This one's got a, just a slight touch. It's got that smooth, creamy corniness. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, just that touch of menthol mintiness going on, which I really, I, I quite like. Um, I tried a Rebel Yell right back at in kind of when i just first started and it was terrible i didn't like that but it, it reminded me of mouthwash so kind of palette wise you're getting and a bit of a zing a bit of cinnamony you get a lot of cinnamon in bourbons you get um a, a fair amount of that mint's coming through just a touch, just it's like it's like being near a mint plant in the garden, not chewing on mint. Just you know that kind of when you breathe, you breathe in the mint plant smell. You know what I mean? Mm. All right, I'm getting a couple of questions, so I'll go I'm at this. I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, so some people saying yeah, near Cockermouth, yeah. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark's saying he's ten minutes drive away. They're talking about stuff. Um, Craig says it's rumored to be number one, which is less than 10% rye. Oh, so they don't actually announce it, which is strange because in their 
antique collection they give you oh they don't tell the percentages i suppose but they do tell you what's in it so there you go yeah it, it doesn't taste like it's got a, a lot of um kind of right in there uh my christine says she's off to bed midnight here in norway matt says hi hi matt also don't talk about Highland about 21. <laughs> Uh, Ty says, I've never tried any Japanese whiskey. In world rankings, where does it sit overall for quality? Oh, oh that's really hard to say because uh, actually somebody's going to be sending me this, uh, but they, they're they reported to make one of the worst whiskeys ever made, which is the Fujikai. Maybe not one of the worst, but it was meant to be pretty bad. Um, so I think they've got a good rep at the moment because... They got won a few awards and came out nowhere really and, and, and took the, the Western world by storm. And um, I think they're a bit overrated. Let's, let's say that. They're a bit overrated. You need to meet people like, like me and the other YouTuber guys and the bloggers and stuff like that and find out what they think because they're the ones that know the bad ones and the good ones. There are a lot of bad ones and a lot of good ones. How about that? Uh, I missed stuff. I don't think I'm missing stuff. Just look, Woodford deal price ends at midnight. I'll have a look before that. Do a giveaway. Uh, I just did a, a giveaway for a little while ago. I gave away uh, one of these, and, and uh, Brian got that. Hopefully, he's opened it and finished it probably by now. Um, I might give away for 500 subs. How about that? Spread the words, get me to 500 subs on YouTube. Um, I'd love to continue to grow up in this thing and I, I want to kind of make it viable to keep going. Uh, and a quiz as well. Uh, that sounds like I need to do a bit of prep for that. Um, and I've drink a little bit of whiskey now, so maybe not. <laughs> well, again, people are having a bit of a chat. That's good. Carry on. Keep chatting. Whiskey rails on lack of ruling. Because the end is inside that bowl. This is a an interesting thing. At what point do you consider the end of a bowl? I usually go with below the label, but obviously with this one here, there's no label and it goes right down to the base. This one here would be a good one. I'd finish off that in not in one sitting, but I'd get some mates around. We'd finish off with that label, and this is particularly high, so obviously I'm not going to kill that off. But I don't like to leave just a wee bit at the bottom. I like to finish it off at that in style. Like, mm. yes, uh, Ram says, um, "Who's coming to Whiskey Bristol?" I plan on it. Uh, I don't have a ticket yet, but I'm still looking at the logistics of it all. Whether I need to drive and stay or or whatever, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Hopefully, I'll be there. If not, I'm going to whiskey, the whiskey show in London um, on the second or third of October. I can't remember. It's the Monday anyway. If you're if you're trading and have got tickets, then I'll be there. Uh, me and Joe and Grim going. So uh, Grim said, I'm not sure if I mentioned when the phone crossed in, but the Molten Meetup is only about thirty minutes away from the Lakes Distillery. Yeah, so um, me and uh, gentleman Grim are going to go to the Lakes Distillery for a tour. On the Sunday after the malted meetup, that's going to be a big one. Uh, okay, Whiskey Rev says he's got about five silver left in it. Get it dealt with. Why not? Which uh, which like room is it? That's a good question as well because it's just that. Jason's going to the show. Good. I look forward to seeing you, pal. Mm. So. Then shall we? I think we've I think we've established it's a good whiskey. I'm not uh, I'm not sure I'll bother paying forty quid for it if and when I finish it. If and when I, there we go. I'm slurring words. <laughs> if and when I finish it, um, I don't think I'll spend forty quid on another bottle. If I see it for twenty quid again, maybe. Um, but I'm trying really hard to work through the kind of sub fifty quid bottles as quickly as I can. So. I'd rather buy something else to cover on the channel. I want to, you know, I want to keep producing content for you guys. And every twenty to fifty quid I spend on something else is a bit I can make. So, uh, Real Jam says, uh, 
Yeah, he's not uh, a, a sub to the Dram team. Yes, I am. Um, and uh, yeah, I will take you up on that. <laughs> so let me. Know. I did wonder because I know they're in affiliation with um, the Birmingham Whiskey Club, and I am a member of the Birmingham Whiskey Club. Which is the thing I've got here. Um, but I didn't see anything for that, so never mind. Uh, Mike saying Aaron shorts, yes, and Mike because it's bloody hot. Um, it's also summer, so enough. And also, I've got a couple of videos coming up, and if you're eagle eyed, you will see I'm also wearing my pajama bottoms in that one. I'm like all all suit from this up from you know my usual top, and I was wearing my pajama bottoms for it. So there you go, a bit of inside information. This is Buffalo Trace. ER is just an older version. Sure. Buffalo Trace is one of the first bourbons I ever bought and um, was very pleasantly surprised. That cost me 20 quid as well. If I can find this again for 20 quid, I'd rather have this. But whatever. I will buy Buffalo Trace again as well. They just, they just do good stuff, really, don't they? Um, I don't know if, if you saw recently, I just did the George T. Stag. What year did I do? I can't remember what year it was. 14? 14, 14, I think it was. That's astounding. Um, and I've got a little bourbon series running on the channel at the moment, if you're aware. And that is um, finishing next Monday. And that is finishing with the William LaRue Weller 2016 release, which is an absolute monster as well. Mm. What else is going on? What's happening? Royce right. opened the single malt whiskey site HP. Yeah, I'd love to try that. <laughs> I've got stuff to do tomorrow. This is the problem with um, Tuesday night thing. I did go on Tuesday night because why not? Not a free night. So I thought I'd see what was going on. People don't do things on Tuesday. Why not? I think we've got, I don't know, I don't know how many people we've got watching, right? I'm not really paying attention to the numbers, but people are still chatting, so that's all good. Oh, we've got uh, German, um, I, I, do you know what, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Whiskey Oster, six iron, the Americanas, Americanas, six, six, I can't say that word very well. But, hey, hello, I think um, you may be one of the only German people... I know that um, comments on my videos. I've got a guy from Belgium, Germany. No, usually uh, the Germans go to whiskey.com or whiskey.de for their for their kind of whiskey fixes. But um, I don't like that guy. I don't like the way he. Um, I like the guy, but I don't like the way he switched it's like this. into his mic. What else is going on? Tuesday night is not, yeah, it's a good night for me as well. Chilling, not doing anything. Whiskey Jason is in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody said anything about me slaying the German language yet, so that's good. Horst, yeah, Horst, master, master taster at whiskey.com. Very, very knowledgeable. I like his son, Benedict. He's a very funny guy. <laughs> yeah the gurgle the gurgle's brilliant isn't it it's uh it's nasty man they need to mute that video when they're doing that <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say about that <laughs> uh right i need to need to drink something else i'm gonna go back to the japanese whiskey why not it's what i do there's no need to cleanse your palate I'm not a professional whiskey tasting we're all friends here yeah I'm talking about Germany now, yeah. I love Germany as well. I've always feared the first. That's terrible. That's terrible. But really, whatever. Although I'm scared of German sausages, I've always feared the first. Just, just bad. Just bad. <laughs> Mike says, could be worse. Mr. D farts on video, much worse. 
Well, I think I've got to say about that, pal, is um, you can't pick your family, but you can pick your friends. So, <laughs> sack him. There you go, like, sack him. Get someone else. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, I'm joke, it's a great joke you say. I love a good old um, classic joke. Mm. Actually, I regret going to this now because going back from bourbon to that, it's not so good. Not so good. So, I think it's about time I had a drink of water. Uh, who's going? They said they're going. Do I miss something? Real dram. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Real dram, you're off. See you later, mate. Have a good for joining in. We're doing alright for time as well. I did think this was going to be about an hour, so. Uh, Let's, uh, let's finish up these three and see where we're at, eh? Mm. Well, Mike's taking it into the kitchen because he's making baby bottles, so cheers for sticking around again because that's, uh, that's real good stuff, man. Mm. Better open the window. It's getting warmer now. We'll get bugs. So, should we chat about the Eagle Rare a bit more? It's, I don't really know what else to say to convince you. It's just really good. It's just really good. The, it's a really good example of the kind of stuff they're making over there at um, Buffalo Place without spending the money on those kind of antique stuff. Um, there are other stuff going on. Uh, uh, I wondered when Food Quick will come up. Roy says, you'll be doing well to be through Chris Marathons. Yeah, that guy, he said to me, um, that he, he's just done a five-hour live stream. I have absolutely no idea how he does that. Um, but he's never online when I'm there, so I've never actually seen one. And obviously, I haven't got time to sit there and watch five hours uh, in a post. But he does a, a great um, uh, post-Scotch test dummies kind of equally after party. And um, they're always on at two in the morning for us. I can't catch it anyway. But if, you, if you're around, then by all means do it. Ty says this is uh, like a wiki lock. You just need a few more people around. Yeah, I'm happy, man. I'm happy to chat with anyone who's chatting. That's that's the good and short of uh, it's just a friendly thing, isn't it? That's the um, Eagle Rare finish off. I'm going to leave that alone now. I think we can all agree I'm having too much. Craig says he was given a nearly full bottle of the Habiki 12. How on earth have you managed that? Um, did somebody not like it or something? Or did you just blag it because that's amazing i would love to do that i did know a guy who who bought nine bottles of it when he saw it for 25 quid each or something like that i mean i would do but it's a shame okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back to this japanese harmony now mm. this all's really good did i say what percentage it was i don't think i did i think it's 43 43% made by Centauri Beam. And that's it's it's one of the better one of the better Japanese whiskies for sure. Uh, <clears throat> that's a bit of a lie. It's one of the more reasonable Japanese whiskies. There are far better ones, but a lot of them are really, really, really hard to get a hold of now. And um some of them, some of the standard bottlings are okay. Some of them are poor. This, um, I'm trying to decide if this is better than the Yamaki Reserve 
or the Hibiki Distillers Reserve. I think I think the Yamazaki Distillers Reserve is better than this, and it's better than the Hibiki Distillers Reserve. But they're only they're very close to each other. They're very close to each other. Whiskey Wings says twenty five quid. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sure people lie about stuff like that. Uh, whatever. I think it was a while ago before it all started kicking off, and some shop had labelled it wrong, and he just took advantage of it as you would. But yeah, carry on. Whiskey and whiskey says much whiskey is such a thing. I don't know. I've never been rotten on whiskey. That's the the fact of it. I've, I've drunk a lot at festivals before, and it only really makes me merry. I, I've never pushed it over the edge. I like the cider and stuff like that I can do to the person. So, yeah, I don't know. Mm. What's anything else going on? I think uh, James Weiss said, I went to sleep earlier but recorded some video in the meantime. Well, did you record while you were asleep? <laughs> That'd be a good video. <laughs> But good. I hopefully uh, you can start pushing out some more videos, man. Because, um, I like the style. I like, uh, I like the range of things you've got as well. Because you spend a hell of a lot more money on whiskey than I do, so it's it's good to see it all. I said, well, if you get five hours in, I expect to switch on and see disco lights. No, I'm definitely not doing that. I need to. I'm up at six in the morning, so I'll need to head off for something. But um, I didn't really think that far ahead on how to close off or anything like that. So it's probably just going to be a, a pretty abrupt end. Oh, here we go. I wonder when this is going to get mentioned. I'm oh, the mic going on about the Founders Reserve. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, okay. I don't know if any of you... Oh, you won't have seen it. Um, Mike wiped his channel, but um, Mike did a, uh, a tasting, a surprise, a surprise tasting of the Founders Reserve from Glen Livet, which... Unfortunately, replaced the Live It Twelve Year, which was uh, a really good draft. Actually, I think I've got, yeah, I've still got me bottle of it here because I just want to remember. Um, here you go, Mike. Um, so, yeah, he did a video of that, and um, he got uh, he got interested in it to the point where he took a sword to it. So I thought it was really funny. Um, I think you got a bit of stick for it, didn't you, Paul? But um, I, uh, I thought it was really funny because it's a properly shit whiskey. So there you go. Second S-bomb of, uh, of the thing. <laughs> uh, what else is going on here? Jason Whiskey. Will the sword make an appearance during the meetup if I bring a case of Founders Reserve? Um, I think it probably will, Jason, but um, I'll, I'll, I wouldn't want to set him off, to be honest. <laughs> you catch him in a rage, right? I'll just, you know, don't, don't bring up the uh, hay club and all the fans. I, I can do it now on the other side of some glass, but <laughs> although we might be able to have a will with his boss to make sure he's not out to bring offensive weapons into the store. Might be waiting for you around the streets of Carlisle, though, so you never know. <laughs> yeah, Gentleman Grimm saying it was a sacrifice to the whiskey gods, for sure. <laughs> I don't know, he says to do the same with Pay Club, but it's. I'm not sure it's. Uh, it's a nice bottle, I quite like the Pay Club. Um, where's Brian the cat? He sleep on the bed. I can go and get him if you want, but I'll have to do the whole mess with the microphone again. Maybe I'll do it just before I close off because he's probably sleeping, poor guy. But um, I hope you like that because I've uh, I've put together a spoiler alert. I've put together an outtake video of my my little recent series, and there's lots of cat in that. So if you liked that little thing, then look out. It's not this Thursday. Next Thursday you'll see that. And uh, yeah, so I've got another outtake video. I know um, Roy likes those. <laughs> Ty says it's uh, past watershed. You're okay. Yeah, I know. But still, this uh, it's on you, isn't it? So it gets um, gets replayed at all times of the day. I've been in, I've been told off. I've been told. I actually genuinely have been told off swearing. So okay. Right. 
We're going to finish this last little bit of Highland Park 21, finish on a high. And then I think I better draw to close, let everyone get to bed. It's getting a bit late, isn't it? Oh. This, oh, this is so good. I think the reason why um, Tom says it's not worth it is because he got the bottle for free. Um, he won it on, uh, uh, what's the thing called? The whis Whiskey Santa or something like that. The, the Masters of Mole Whiskey Santa hashtag thing. Really lucky. <laughs> Ty saying, love a bit of hay. Yeah. I need to change that, mate. We need to uh, we need to get together and drink some whiskey. That's all I'm saying. Um, because you need... <laughs> mm. it's not good. It really isn't. Yeah. Mm. Okay. People knocking off. Jez. Good night. Thanks for joining in, pal. Hopefully, subscribe to the channel and uh, much more content. Mm. Love this stuff. I just, I, I'm dreading doing the video on it. I'll be honest with you. Um, that's why I haven't done it. I've done. If you if you've been watching for a while, you'll see I did a, a little tiny dram of the um, Highland Park Twenty One. Um, not enough to review, it, just to kind of initial impressions. But um, I, I've been doing it because it's so good. I just have to sit here and drink it. I can't. I find it really hard to talk about it. Whiskey Wings is out. Cheers for joining, guy. Catch you later. I'll be um, checking on uh, Thursday for your uh, blind tastings. I think Craig is out as well. Thanks for joining. Appreciate everyone watching this. It's been really good fun. Oh, okay. Ty's trying to rede redeem himself now, saying the ad, not the not green. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Still, though, I owe you that drum. Right. I think that's. Uh, I think that's me done, folks. I finished all my whiskies. I've drank a little bit more than I was meant to, but I carried on anyway. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this live stream. I won't be doing this sort of thing very often. I thought it'd be just nice to do because I get four hundred subscribers. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the content that I make. Um, I do all this a hobby. It's kind of kind of documenting my journey through whiskey. Um, I don't pretend to be an expert. I don't ever want to pretend to be an expert. Uh, I do it because I love the drink. Um, I don't like to listen notes. I just want to go on and do my thing. Uh, I hope you find it entertaining. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and carry on supporting the channel because i i hope it's going to carry on going I've, I've got inclination to carry on going for every week for for the foreseeable future as you can see i've got loads to do absolutely loads to do uh people are catching up with me now so that's good so yeah <laughs> this is half the party i'm not sure where i'll even do that I haven't thought that far ahead i <laughs> get escaping it but i think um Realistically, I probably need to go to bed. Um, Mike says uh, I've got cat shit to clean up. I, I definitely don't because I ran off to let him out, remember? Although I might have a wet cat to deal with. You, you decide. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just laughing at some comments now. People like Brian still going, going on about glasses. I'll get, I'll get proper glasses. Proper proper glasses i don't i don't subscribe to that brian you know but whatever i will get it do you know what if uh if food quig was was online he's asleep right now 2 2 p.m in the um afternoon for him but or was 3 p.m he um he will do another party i'm sure but see that's me i've had an ass blast doing this you guys want to make it what all worthwhile. Um, I love the interactions we have. I love chatting to everybody. Uh, I love the positivity. Keep it coming. 
and I hope you just can join the content. Well, I hope I see a few of you in real life coming up. I hope you think that's happening. Um, if not, comment in and keep on the love. Cheers, guys. I'm probably going to be awkward while I close this down, but I've had an absolute blast. Speak to you soon.